Welcome to another Sir James D. DJ and Sir James D. Tech video. Today I've got it on both channels because I'm covering a personal upgrade, which is a new monitor. The ASUS 27 inch, 120 hertz, 3D capable, VG278H, not the HE. Okay, this is the H with the embedded IR emitter and the 3D Vision 2 glasses come along with it. The HE version does not have either of those. Now the resolution on here is 1920 by 1080 and this is replacing my LG 27 inch monitor that has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. I can see the question marks above some of your heads. The reason I chose this monitor, okay, and all of you are sure to come to be educated on this pretty soon because graphics cards and you know more powerful monitors are coming out is the other monitor I've got is 60 hertz. Okay, the 3D to me is kind of a gimmick. I've never tried 3D, so this is going to be a totally new experience for me. But, and especially that Crisis 3 video showed me, I need more than a 60 hertz monitor because what happens is, especially if you want to run an SLI solution or a Crossfire, is your frames are capped at 60, okay? because your monitor can't spit out any more than 60 frames per second if you got that you know 60 hertz monitor it's just screen tearing all over the place and if you turn V-Sync on well you're not getting the best out of the graphics card you purchased so I figured you know what I still don't think I'm gonna put V-Sync on because I'm just I don't know I call it for my benchmarking you know runs or whatever I just don't like V-Sync so I'm gonna probably keep that disabled but everything's going to run smooth up to 120 hertz and we're talking if you play things like battlefield 3 you know any fast twitch movements it's the screen is going to be so much smoother all right you're not going to get almost the vertical effect and the ghosting you know what i'm talking about and yes i'm well aware of the korean overclock monitors you know yamasaki cat leaps which sprung overlord monitors where basically it's a 1440p 27 inch but you can overclock the PCB well you know the range of the overclock can go from 95 Hertz to 120s and around there but that's just you know that's a big enough range where I'm not willing to play with that plus what does that do to the lifespan of your monitor you know th these aren't really meant to be overclocked long term okay and those are the same price that's what I got this for. Now again, the 3D to me seems like kind of a gimmick, but you know, I'll try it out. Oh, I forgot one other thing I got. A second graphics card. Another EVGA GTX 670 Superclocked Plus. This is the four gigabyte edition. Now, I don't have three screens. Okay, so Having four gigabyte VRAM is nice if you've got you know multiple monitors set up, but it's also really nice if you have games like Skyrim, anything that has a lot of graphics mods on it, you're gonna run out of VRAM really quick. You know, some of the two gigabyte versions, there's you know it runs up to two gigabytes and then you're out. You know, so it's nice to have that overhead. And then I got another dual link cable. I mean, can never have enough of these. I think I've got like three or four laying around, but decided to get one anyway. And then I got another SLI bridge from EVGA, who was very kind. I sent the order in for this on Friday and got it on a Monday. So they did extra hard, and I want to thank EVGA for sending that out right away. And so I'm not going to do a full review or a full unboxing on this because hey, they didn't send me this thing for free. So, you know, I'm not going to go through all that, you know, the manual and all the mandated stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it all up. Okay, that'll be included in this video. But then I'm going to give it a run for a couple days and then give you my impressions. Okay, that's what I kind of choose to do. Rather than reviews, I want to give you impressions. All right? I'll tell you how I'm liking the 3D. I'm um, liking the smoother gameplay, you know, even smoother things like moving windows around and even the mouse cursor, less ghosting. And I'll come out with that video in a couple days, probably look for it in three or four days, okay? All right, let's get everything unboxed. All right, so you can see in there, got the second 670 in. I should do some dusting. 
<laughs> Speaking of that, oh boy, you should have seen when I took that back side panel off. Jeez. I think it's snowing more in here right now than it is outside. <laughs> and then I'm just doing some ghosting tests. I don't know if this will show up, you know, if it'll show up as clearly as it is in person. Probably not. But I can already tell. I did this test before on my 60 hertz monitor, and it was just, I, I couldn't even read Prad or Prod, whichever. So, and then there's also the glasses here which kind of look like scuba diving glasses to me. And somebody was running their grubby fingers across this because I can see fingerprints already. I wish I had one of those FBI tests or I could see who did that, but don't rub your fingers across my stuff, man. So, all right, I got that to do. And then, like I said, I'm going to tinker around with this for a couple days, and then I'll give you my impressions uh, probably Friday or Saturday. So, till then, guys. Talk later.